update then on the car mirrors that were broken. We had two people that were arrested. What we found is there, were, uh, there was one car, and that was the license plate that we were able to get. But the detectives found that car yesterday morning and then were able to track down everybody that was inside that car. We had two adults. A uh, 20-year-old was driving, and a 19-year-old was the passenger. And then there were three teenagers. Uh, there were three teenage girls that were in the back seat. So uh, they were, I think, 16, 17, 18, somewhere in that time or in that age range. Uh, the, as they drove around, the 19-year-old was hanging out the window. Um, what was thought to be a bat was actually a wooden dowel that had some type of metal on the end of it. That's what he was swinging, and that's what he used to break the mirrors. Uh, as of late yesterday, we had about 16 different owners that had vehicles damaged. The amount, we're looking at just over $5,000. Like I said, we did have some more reports that came in. Uh, later yesterday, so there could be potential for more victims involved with this. But both of them were arrested for intentional damage to property, uh, a felony in amount, because we're dealing with that dollar amount. Uh, no charges for the teenage girls. That's something that maybe the state's attorney's office would consider at, at some point later, but at this point they were not arrested for anything. Do you have their names on? Yep. So the driver, there it is. Last name is uh, Quackenbush, Q U A C K E N B U S H, all one word. Uh, first is Blake, B L A K E. Middle is Ronald, R O N A L D. And he's 20 from Sioux Falls. That's the driver. That was the driver. And then the passenger, and he's the one that was swinging the object. His last name is Dieters, D-E-T-E-R-S. First is Alexander, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R. Middle is Mackenzie, M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E. And he's 19 from Sioux Falls. And both, yep, felony intentional damage to property.